Howdy folks, Laxo here. And today we're going to be getting into a, we're, you know, we're just going to be showing off my teams on my free-to-play account, and uh, we're going to be doing that via battle. And uh, let's see here, I'm going to be attacking my my friend here, Lord Varg. He's actually my lieutenant, I believe, so let's go ahead and uh, swap over accounts here and uh, get a little battle underway here and check out my team, so... You guys may have noticed that I haven't uh, been playing here, or I haven't made a video in quite some time, and I do apologize. I have been out of town for probably a week or two. I mean, it's funny because I was uh, out of town for about a week, and then I came back to town for about a month, and then... Uh, family things came up, so I had to go back out of town for another week, and now I'm back in town. So, uh, very, very confusing, but I am here, and uh, let me make some videos. I uh, expect one today, and maybe one tomorrow, and maybe one the next day as well, but that's that. Anyways, um, so this first team is uh, was pretty much just a bunch of extra units I had. Um, I could toss Ichigo on a decent team, and my three front row units are actually really tanky. So all three of these units are here are very tanky. Uh, I believe I have uh, both these two at 7 star, and then Kukaku at 6, I believe? 5 or 6. So all three of these are really tanky units, and uh, unfortunately we're just extra. But nonetheless, uh, let's go ahead and check out Battle 2. Uh, here this is my classical uh, anti-heal team. I have noticed, and uh, you guys can let me know what you, if you guys have noticed this, but I have noticed that uh, the the anti-heal from Byakia and Kira alone isn't giving 100% anti-heal. I mean, I know that Byakia does give 40 and Kira does give 60, but Characters on the enemy team have still been getting health back from uh, having that 100% cap on anti-heal. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys, if you guys have noticed that in the comments. Maybe I'll reply here. But uh, uh, Yeah, that's just what I've noticed. Anyways, um, back to the battle here. So, oh, uh, with my point being, uh, I have had to throw a Heineko in the lineup as well, just to make sure, just to super overcap the anti-heal, just to make sure that I do have anti-heal. Um, ooh, it was unfortunate. I wanted Byakia to get the uh, CC removal, not uh, Rukia, but we are here. So one thing I could do for this team is I could, and I, I, I probably should, to be honest, I probably should swap uh, Rukia and Kira. Probably could and should swap those two. But I do like the uh, extra damage that I get from Kira. Because I do get the damage reduction removal from the enemy team. Or the extra damage, I should say. From Rukia and then Kira I have at 5 star on my alt or my free to play account so he just gets a whole bunch of extra damage uh, as I would get vice versa so I do apologize for the uh, let's see if I can turn down this a little bit here I feel like I'm getting just overran with a bunch of uh, audio here. Right. There you go. Alright. Anyways. Um, yes, so what you saw there was uh, the extra damage from Byakia finally kicking in and me just like one-shotting outright the entire uh, other team. Um... Let's see here, this team comp is pretty much, let's see here, 
it's it's like a mishmash. Um, I could swap around a few units and be okay. Uh, I could maybe toss um, either one of these two in the back row and be okay, and then uh, swap Nell to the front row. But I do like the extra healing and damage reduction that Nell offers with her rage attack. So I do put her in the back row, especially because she's only five star for now. And um, Unohana and Rangiku are both seven star. So I do like to put them in the front because they are a little bit more tanky than uh, Nell. Oh, and then of course I have uh, my two big damage dealers right here in the back row. Um, so, one thing I have noticed, and that is if you put uh, Nini, this is only for people that actually have Nini, uh, if you put Nini on a team with, um, if you put Nini on a team with Yoroichi, and Yoroichi does her four rage attacks, or her um, one rage attack, and then her extra three rage attacks, I should say. Um, she does get to rage again if she does kill that enemy because she does, of course, get extra rage from many. So that is something you guys can do. You guys can take advantage of. I have seen it uh, pulled off a couple times. Ooh, look at that damage from Lisa. Lisa is a monster. If you can get Lisa's, Lisa and her weapon to purple gold and get her to seven star... She does some nasty damage. She really does do some good damage. All right, next up. Um, this is pretty much a normal bleed team here. I do have a couple uh, strong units that I could I could part out two different teams, but this is only uh, this is only five teams here, as you can see. So I have four strong teams that I'm confident in, one not so strong team. Uh, ha as soon as I pick up another unit or two, and uh, I actually can pick up another. I'm I'm planning on uh, five starring another two or three units um, before I reach all the UR units on my free to play account. So uh, pretty much all the units from here on out, except for Koga. I think I'm going to be five starring at least. Um, I could give up a five star. And in return, six star another unit, but I think I might just stick with all five stars as opposed to one six and uh, in a bunch of fives. So uh, here um, I'm going to have, as you can see, this is going to be a win for me. I'm going to have just big damage here. Check out this damage. Uh, this is why I do like to have Nell and Soifa on the same team. Boom, 10 million damage right there. Some big damage right there. Uh, but that is, of course, uh, my free-to-play account. On my main account, um, Soyphone is strong enough to just have her on her own team and just one-shot the entire team. Oh, as you can see here, um, I I don't think I've done this yet, but or mentioned this yet, but Cotton. I do have Cotton Kill Cuts at 5-star. Uh, I did get her to 5-star. And, uh, yeah, she's just as strong as I thought she'd be. Um, again, I should be getting a couple more units here. I'm going to be five-starring. So we could take a look at those units, actually, after this, uh, this battle. But uh, the reason why I'm not going to make this video a critique video on Lord Varg, and I haven't mentioned it, is uh, because he didn't set up his defensive teams, which... I could uh, I could nail him on, but uh, I'm just gonna mention this is the importance of having uh, a good defensive team. Is you have my free to play account, server 840, beating a top 15 account on 130s or 1 120s, because we had the big server merge of a bunch of different uh, servers. So uh, you got to get those um, at, at least if you're going to do this at least click auto deploy so it doesn't send out a bunch of just garbage units at least click auto deploy Let's see here 
I think that is pretty much going to wrap this one up here. Looks like about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and take one final look here. So, uh, again, um, I actually don't really swap around these teams when I'm fighting people in the... Uh, uh, in the, uh, the World Championship, I only swap around two teams. That is my three team and my two team. Those are the only two teams I swap around. If I notice that the enemy has, as you can see, healers stacked on one team, I throw up my anti-heal against that team. And uh, we see what happens. Other than that, um, yeah, I'm fairly confident in all my teams. I don't have the best team comps because, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm free to play. But uh, they are good enough to get the job done. Uh, let's do one quick look over here, as I said we would. Uh, oh, um, in case you guys want to see some war souls. I actually forgot to put on war souls. I haven't put on war souls because I've been doing uh, uh, 1v1s. So I've been swapping off my war my Yeah, see, as you can see, I don't even have a war soul on Aizen right now. Um, I've been swapping up my War Souls because of, uh, the 1v1 Kenpachi contest, so... Uh, yeah. I don't really have the best War Souls on my characters, but good enough. Um, as you can see, here is Cotton. I have her at 5-star. And I will be getting, uh, other characters 5-star as well. But with that... Um, I'm also thinking about getting Zangetsu's weapon as well. And also Aizen's weapon. If I get this Aizen's weapon, I could actually use him, but it's not that great. Anyways, uh, so the units I'm going to 5-star from here on out is I'm going to 5-star uh, Muramasa. I'm thinking about maybe 6-starring him, but if I do, I'd have to give up another unit. Um, I am going to 5-star Sogyo. I could 6-star him, but once again, I have to give up either Ashi Sogijizo or... Mudamasa. So these are the three units I'm going to be five starring. Um, I'm not going to be five starring Symbol and Zakuda because he is a garbage character. And I'm not going to be five starring Koga because Koga is not very good. I'd, 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 I'd like to five star Koga and if I do have the, the resources, since I believe he is the final character we get, um, I might 5-star him if I have enough to 5-star him, but uh, the plan is not to. I'm just going to snag these three units and uh, call it a day. And uh, how many resources do I have left? 218. Okay, yeah. Uh, I did do some quick math, and I got... Uh, I get about 170 or so. 150 to 170 Omnis in about a four-week, four-and-a-half-week period. So... Yeah, it's good to know. Adding up all that and the characters, I have done the math and I can get at least two more characters, or three more characters to five star, which is the plan. Um, again, the other option is the six star unit, but I think getting one weapon for each character and then building them from there is probably the uh, better idea since I know what's going to happen and know what's going to come out from here. But with that, guys, um, that is going to wrap this one up. Uh, I will be having, I will throw out a video here probably in the next day or two because I want to do a tips for a free-to-play account. Um, I've never made a free-to-play account tips video or free-to-play tips video. So I'm going to be making one of those soon and I'm also going to be doing a another team review for my, uh, for my main account as well. So uh, keep your eyes open for those and... I'll catch you guys soon. If you enjoyed this, hit the like or hit like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Want to hang out, talk to me and other people in the community, join the Discord. Link will be in the description. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Peace.